What's up guys, Carl Cunard here, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I first of all, I want to apologise because I have been so quiet on YouTube lately. I kind of just, I lost my passion for it a little bit. My Instagram and TikTok have been so busy and work has really picked up that I didn't just want to throw videos up for the sake of it. I wanted to get my passion back, but today I am back with a kind of wardrobe declutter slash clear out slash wardrobe tour because I don't think I've ever actually shown you guys around the wardrobe before but it is a mess I have too many clothes I don't know if you follow me on other social media platforms but lately my dog has been getting fashion jobs with me so we sometimes get the same clothes he's been getting clothes himself as well so there is just too much now for this small dressing room in my flat I am moving into my new house in the next two to three months hopefully so then I'm going to have a bigger dressing room thank god because it is needed but today i have on my do to-do list just to to declutter and i need to get strict with myself today because i want to really like strip things back stuff that i just don't wear i am a little bit of a hoarder when it comes to clothes with grooming products and stuff i kind of just give them away um but with clothes i'm like oh didn't even know i'd had that like maybe i'll wear it now but actually it's sat in my wardrobe for like two years and I've never wore it. So it's never going to get worn. So today I need to be brutal. I need to really just clear out properly. I actually let my family come in and have first dibs. I think it's always nice that um, I can give them the option to come and pick some bits if they want. Some of the stuff has still got tags on it. So it's basically like they're getting new bits. Um, and if they don't want some of the stuff or it doesn't fit... Then I sent it to a website called eBloggers where they sell it off. They sell all kind of different influencers clothes or grooming products at more of a reasonable price. Um, and they wash them for you, clean them, dry clean them, whatever it needs. And then a percentage goes to a charity of my choice, which is leukemia for me. And then the other percentage obviously goes to me, which is great because instead of just throwing things out, which I think a lot of people do, um, there's kind of a part that goes to charity, which is great. And I do make a little bit of money myself. So that's always good. And hopefully whoever's buying the clothes, they're happy with the price and the items they got. So yeah, I've just got back from the gym. I'm going to show you quickly around the wardrobe now. Then I need to shower and just get my head in the game. But yeah, I'm going to stop rambling on and show you actually the mess that we're going to be dealing with today. So, I turn the camera around. This is, I'll show you from the door. This is my kind of, was an office, but I've just turned it into a dressing room now. As you can see, straight away, we have so many pairs of shoes. There's a bag already started there of clothes because kind of throughout the month, or when I do jobs and I think, am I going to wear that again or does that fit? Um, I just kind of put stuff into this bag straight away and this just sits in the cupboard so that is already stuff that i've collated over the month that needs to go to e-bloggers or my family this is carter's little pile of clothes there's probably more in the wardrobes these are shoes that i don't even know they can't fit on there and then we do have as well taking you into the dark clothes randomly down here i also have shoes in here which are more kind of like my smarter shoes, but we need to declutter them as well. So let's start with this wardrobe. There's me, by the way. So in this wardrobe, I have blazers. We've got like smarter shirts. I've got belts, which randomly, I don't know why, but half of my belts have gone missing. I feel like friends come around and take a belt and then they don't bring it back. We've got some dicky bows and ties under there, which looks like a mess. Then in here we have plain black t-shirts. As you can see, who needs that many plain black t-shirts? I feel like one of the Simpsons where like, I just have so many of the same thing. They are all white, which I have even more white t-shirts, but I don't even wear half of those. Then, as you can see, it's just starting to pile up now. These are black graphic tees, white tees with like graphics on. Then we have a drawer of coloured kind of t-shirts and tops. So we've got stripy ones, patterns, just anything that's not black and white basically. Then in the bottom, I don't even know what's in here. We have track suits, which like I won't even wear that. I don't think I've ever worn it, but yep, I'm a holder of clothes. So it's still sitting in there, but today that will probably go. Then let's go on to this one. 
So this is trousers, which is a joke. This is where I need to get really brutal today because it's to the point now where hangers are breaking when I go to put the clothes, like the trousers in because I'm squeezing them in and it's just a joke. Like there's some trousers over there that I actually like that will not fit in here. We've got shorts, I've got glasses galore. As you can see, a million pair of glasses. Don't even wear half of them either. Pants and socks, nice little kissy ones there. Then we've got gym gear, which this is a mess. Again, half the stuff in this drawer I just never, ever, ever wear when it comes to gym gear. I always wear the same sort of stuff, so that needs to go. We've got gym kind of sports trousers, and then we've got more tracksuits, as you can see, bulging out the drawer. But the worst, worst, worst part is in here. So, out. In here we've got sweatshirts, more sweatshirts, like ridiculous amount. I don't even think I wear sweatshirts that much. Polos here, we've got kind of like thinner jumpers. Jeans, which this is a joke. Like this is supposed to be sitting on there. And as you can see, I'm squeezing the jeans in. And now it's just a joke. So I don't know what I'm going to do there. Sweatshirts, well, hoodies, which I didn't even know they were in there. So it shows that I really wear them. Now you can see with the shirts, plain shirts, bulging out. Don't even know what's at the bottom of them. Pattern shirts, more hoodies, more hoodies. These are kind of like leathers and like longer coats. But maybe I should put them away because we're not in winter. But yeah. Then we've got more like bombers, uh, denim jackets, and we have suits hidden away in the back. We've got some bags up there, which actually there's a bag that I think I'm going to get rid of today, which I bought and love, but I just never, never use it anymore. Oh, and at the top of here, we've got, I'm out of breath, we've got some random stuff that I don't even know what it is. And then, what was I going to show you? I was going to show you something. What was I? Ah, then... I'm back. Are we in focus? Yep. Then I also have... God, my face looks red from the gym. Then we have this. Oh, it's dark in here because I've not opened the curtains. Um, we have some random stuff on this rail. Now, this rail, it's a bit dark in here, so I'll go back in the other room. But on that rail, I normally just, now that I'm getting to the point, where I just can't fit everything in here, I just throw it on the rail, but then... Like, there's stuff on the rail that I've just never worn. We're going to get Carter involved as well, because we need to know. Let's see if he comes in. Carter, come here. <whistles> What's this? Carter. He's coming. Carter, come. Come here. Come. You need to help me today. Come here. You need to help me because we need to clean out the wardrobe, okay? And you've got to get rid of some of your clothes that you probably don't even like wearing, but you seem to like them when I put them on you. Um, but these are yours, so you've got to do some tidying up today. Is that okay with you? Yeah? Generally not interested. Yeah, I'm going to get myself in the shower and then we're going to crack on with this mess. only done one and a half cupboards and I'm already like pfft. I'm pretty proud of myself we've got a hefty pile coming along shirts is where it needs to be fully decluttered because like how are you even supposed to look let's crack on with it <laughs> One more drug to go with the clear out. I'm not looking forward to the tidy up part because even though we have this, I don't know if you can see it, mammoth pile behind me, which actually I'm not even looking forward to the bagging part where I've got to put them all in the bags. 
I wanted to quickly jump on the good light because it's not the best light in this room kind of facing at the wardrobe and show you the bag that is really sad to say goodbye but I think it's time I think I've outgrown it so this bag is like one of the first premium I could say bags that I bought I bought an um, Louis Vuitton bag since that I love um, but this is my very sparkly standout bag I bought this probably two years ago now and I have had so much attention from it um, if you walk down Oxford Street people would stop you and say I love the bag but I just don't think I wear it anymore. I think it's a bit too bold for me now. I think I'm a bit more of a, a simple grown-up kind of guy with more of like a Louis Vuitton bag or just something that's black. So I think I'm going to have to say goodbye because it's, it's sitting in the wardrobe and I just feel like it's not getting the wear and justice it deserves. So it deserves to be with someone that is going to start wearing it. So let's add it to the pile and carry on with more decluttering. Guys, what is this? So this is everything that I've said. Okay, let's be brutal. Let's get rid. There's obviously stuff underneath this as well. It's just ridiculous. So, oh, let me turn it back around. My trousers, I wanted to try my jeans on. I wanted to try my trousers on just because sometimes I'm like, I like the color, but the fit just isn't right. Obviously, my body shape changes. So I just tried every single pair of trousers on and I was like, get rid or keep. Obviously, they're the only two options, but I was just brutal with what I was keeping. But yeah, this is everything I'm getting rid of. I don't even know, I don't even know if I've got enough bags to put it in and I don't want them hanging around the flat, but I feel like task or step one is done. I'm now gonna bag up all this stuff and just not even look at it again, actually. I said I was gonna look and then evaluate, but I just feel like I have been brutal and I'm happy with my decisions and it's time to say goodbye. So I'm gonna bag all this up and then we've got shoes to work on because, again, it's ridiculous the amount of shoes I've got. I'm always like, they look cool on the display, but I don't need shoes to just look there and be on display. They need to be worn or worn by someone else. So we're gonna move on to shoes next. I'm probably just gonna crack on with that because I feel like this is taking way much longer than I had anticipated. We haven't even moved on to Carter's bits yet. So I'm gonna do the shoes quickly and then I'm gonna move on to tidying up. And I'll probably show you the bit when um, I'm gonna try some bits on Carter maybe to see what's good and what's not for him. And then let's get tidying and show you the finished result of what a full day of tidying up, decluttering and um, clearing out can do for the mindset. Out. Shoes are done. I find shoes really hard because I have this kind of display of shoes. I'm like, oh, I don't want it to look empty, but it was getting to a point where shoes were just scattered around the flat everywhere because there wasn't a place for them. But I've made two different piles because, to be honest, some of these shoes are not reusable. This pile here, we've got like black vans that don't even have the sole in them. Like these, they're covered in dust. That's how long they've not been worn for, that literally there is dust all over them. We've got these vans that I bought maybe two years ago and it was just like these again, vans not worn in like two years, not got even a soul in them. Um, so yeah, it was getting to the point where I was like, they were just there for display, but they have to go in the bin. It's sad, but it's time for them to go and for me to get new pairs in. And then we have this pile here, which actually I've got a decent amount that I'm getting rid of they are then going to go and sell because they're still reusable to be honest some of them have been worn like once so yeah shoes are done i'm going to get these bagged up to be honest i say bagged up i've run out of bags i'm going to show you towards the end of the video just how much stuff in the hallway there is i've ordered some new big ikea bags which you send them off in um and then i'm going to quickly tidy i say quickly it's probably not going to be quickly i'm going to tidy up the wardrobes then we're gonna get Carter in because bless him, he's asleep in the kitchen. He's on medication at the minute um, because he's had these like allergies. 
Um, so I've got him on antibiotics, so he's fast asleep. I don't want to disturb or wake him. So once I've done cleaning up the wardrobe, hopefully he'll be awake. We can get him in, maybe try on some of the clothes to see if he still wants the... Well, I don't even know why I'm saying if he still wants them. He's a bloody dog. See if he still fit him or if I'm ever going to put them on him again. And then we can show you the nice clean new wardrobe and how much stuff is going off to sell. So yeah. Let's crack on because I'm starving and I'm not going to eat lunch until I'm done because I'll end up eating lunch, sitting down and I will not get back on again. What a day, but I feel very productive now. I'm nearly done. The only thing we have left is... Carter, come into the video. Sit down. Sit. Sit your bum. So we just need to get Carter's opinion now on what clothes he wants to keep because I've chucked a load of his away because a lot of it I just know wouldn't fit and I wanted to just finally crack on and get things done. I also am mindful that this video is going to be very long. I'm going to give you a quick tour of the wardrobe when it's done. But Carter, this, we keeping this. No, I feel like it's a bit bold for you. Do you a bit bold, isn't it? This one we had on the other day, you really liked, so let's keep that one. Kiss if you like it, no kiss if not. Kiss? Oh, maybe it goes then. This one? Do you want this one? Kiss if you like. No? You can hear me rattle around the pocket. Right. This t-shirt, wait look, kiss if you like, no if not. Right, get rid. This one, kiss. Okay, we're keeping that one. Uh, this nice blueprint one, kiss or go. Cutter, kiss or go. Kiss or go. Go, okay. This t-shirt, you had this on the other day. This one's still got a tag on, so maybe you had mine on the other day. Kiss if you like, oh you like this one. He likes this one. This one. Do you like this one? Smell it. Kiss. Kiss. Oh, you like pour if you like. Okay, we'll do pour on the next one. This one. Look at these colours. So, Carter literally, honestly, I know I didn't really show you much because I just got caught up in the whole video. But, you had so many clothes. I had a whole drawer full. Pour. If you want to keep. Do you want to keep, Paul? Right, you like this one, don't you? One more, oh no, I've got two more. This one, you really liked this one. Paul? Oh, he likes that one. Okay, we'll keep that one. One more, we've not opened this, but this one's brand new. Paul, do you want to keep or get rid? Paul? Oh, yay, we'll keep. Good boy. So that is all of Carter's stuff, apart from everything he's got rid of. We're keeping some of the bits because he likes them. Then, let's give you a little, oh, bit light. Okay, so, the floor, as you can see, apart from Carter's bits there, is now tidy. And then let's show you what we've done with the wardrobe. So, let's start with the shoes, actually. So, there's still a whole two racks of, Carter, excuse me. There's still two racks of shoes, but as you can see, we now have gaps. So that is good because now we can fill them up with new shoes. Then in here, now we have nicely order, colour ordered trousers. I've kept all my glasses because I do just love all of these and I like it to be more filled. Pants and socks still the same. We have gym shorts and gym trousers now instead. And then gym t-shirts and jumpers. And then I cut down to only two tracksuits in there. And then moving on to the next wardrobe, we honestly did. I'm going to show you the amount of clothes I chucked away. Jeans, as you can see, we now have gaps. We've got blacks and denim. We've got other colours. We've got thin jumpers, polos, coloured sweatshirts, black and white sweatshirts. They stayed the same because I actually liked all of them. In here, we have shorts now. In here, we have plain shirts, as you can see, not bulging over. We've got print shirts, we have sweatshirts and sweatshirts. We've got all my coats. I did chuck a few coats away, but generally I kind of keep coats because 
they kind of do go through all seasons and I also got through uh, got rid of a few bombers and kind of denims and stuff so there's just more space now color coded again as you can see color coded everything then let's show you the final wardrobe and then we'll finish this off with showing you the pile so I didn't really chuck many smart shots away because I do like all of these and also I only chucked I think two blazers away we've now gone in with Print tea, black tees and plain black tees. Switched it up. Print white tees, plain white tees. Uh, print and plain. Print colours, plain colours. And finally, tracksuits again. So, let's go and show you. Let's add these to the mix. Carton, this is crazy, isn't it? Woo! So, I did run out of bags. So, we have... You happy with the clear out? You happy? So we have two big IKEA bags there, the shoes that I threw away earlier, and then this mammoth pile of clothes. I can't believe, you can't probably tell actually how high that is, but it's a very high top, uh, pile of clothes. Hello. Hello. So, I would class today as being very successful, very tiring, but I am so glad I got that done. I feel like it's gonna be such a kind of clear mind now that I can get new clothes in. I feel like we're going through different seasons quite quickly. Um, I'm gonna to have to start getting some sort of autumn winter clothes back in again soon. So it's good that I've made the space. You okay? It's literally down here, look. Do you wanna say bye to everyone? But I'm gonna close this kind of vlog video off here because I just feel like it's gone on for so long and also I need to go and eat because I'm not gonna lie I did have a little bite to eat earlier because I just got to the point where I was like I need to eat um but Carter come here say bye to everyone it's your boy but guys I hope you enjoyed today's video as I said earlier I'll be selling all of these clothes on ebloggers I'll link the website down below for you um, if you've got any questions, let me know. But that is it. I hope to see you next week on another video or vlog. But thanks, guys, for watching. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Take care. I'll see you next week. Say bye. Say bye. Say bye. Should we go to walkies? Should we go on walkies? Should we go for a walkies?